Hello TCG and Dragon Ball Super Fusion World fans and welcome to the first gameplay video. I have been really enjoying Dragon Ball Fusion World so I decided, you know what? Let's bring some more content to the channel. So we're going to be doing gameplay videos with different leaders and all of that and kind of seeing just how each leader works and everything. As of right now, there aren't that many leaders. Really, we have a couple Goku leaders, Goku Black, Beerus, Trunks Future, Android 17, um, Sun Gohan, Childhood, Ginyu, I believe is one, um, Vegeta, Broly, Frieza, Cooler. So there aren't really all that many leaders that exist right now with the first initial release of Dragon Ball um, Super Fusion World. But we're going to check out each leader and we're going to just have some fun with them. So the first uh, leader we're going to look over today is Frieza. I have really been enjoying Frieza. Probably one of my favorite leaders of all leaders. But I have tried out Beerus, I have tried out Trunks, and I have tried out Gohan. I haven't tried out Ginyu or Android 17 or Goku Black. Um, and I do have a son Goku build as well, but I haven't tried out like Broly either, so... He's still probably one of my favorite. I have tried out Cooler as well, but I... Honestly, I feel better with Frieza. So anyways, Frieza. Um... Uh, basically, he draws one on his unawakened side, and when you have four or less life, you can awaken him. And then he still draws one on his awakened side, and then you can, at the end of turn, choose two of your battle cards and switch them to active mode. This deck strategy is all about self-awakening Frieza very fast, so that you can be able to start... Oh, so basically, you have more power while your opponent's uh, leader is only at the 15k mark. So you'll have the combo to hit your leader, but also this gives you a chance to bring up all your cards so they can't be targeted. So let's go through the deck. Anyways, we have four of the uh, Ginyu draw, uh, rest the card to draw one. This is really good to only start playing once you're awakened so that you can then stand it back up with Frieza so it's not a target because it's very easy to knock out. Uh, Zorbon, the one draw. Zorbon, he looks at top five cards and adds any, uh, reveal one card that includes Frieza in its name and add that card to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Uh, four Sorbet to draw one on play. Four of the one drop Frieza to rest a battle card. I'm running only two Ginyu because I only have two Ginyu. I did put money into this game to get some more cards. I only opened up two Ginyu, but I would probably push this to three without a doubt. Anyways, if you have three or more battle cards with Frieza Army and their special trait, which most of your battle cards do, um, you can play them and then gain back two power. So in essence, he comes out for free. Now, the one caveat is you can't play anything else with Ginyu. So if you do play him out, you can't play the one drop Ginyu. So just be mindful of that. I'm playing for Q. Um, he's blocker, but he's also really good against your green matchups, which in this ladder right now is majority of all decks are green. You can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. So when he's KO'd, that's really good. Um, I would actually run for Nez if I was playing this in physical. I just don't have four Nez on in the simulator right now, so we're only running one of him. But run four in your build because he self-awakens. On play, you add a card from life to your hand. Now be mindful that is not that is mandatory, not optional. You have to add to life. So just be wary of that. I'm playing four of the Zarbon to self-awaken with blocker. This guy is man. This guy is optional if you want to add on play. Typically you do if in the early game. We're running four of the Frieza 2-drop. Um, so when he comes out, when he attacks, you can choose to add a life from your life to your hand, which you would typically want to. Once you get the late games, you don't have to. It's not mandatory. And then you can choose one of your opponent's battle card would cost three or less and rest it, which is nice because then you can have Frieza go destroy it. I'm playing Raccoon in here to uh, facilitate for those missing cards of Nez. I would take out Raccoon altogether, put in another uh, Ginyu, and put in the four the three Nez I'm missing. But anyways, he adds a card. He can add a card from life to hand on play, and then he can also play a Ginyu, a two-drop or less Ginyu Force, which uh, this Ginyu is. And I will accidentally remove one. So this Ginyu is uh, two-drop, So and he is Ginyu Force as well. So you can play him off Raccoon, 
So funny enough, what you can do is on like turn three, play Raccoon, Raccoon, gain you back a um, draw, get a life to your hand, and then you play, play the two drop Ginyu, for, Ginyu, and then that Ginyu will then restand to your energy, allowing you to play something else like maybe Q or something else. So it is pretty neat. I'm just going to take it out for like another Ginyu and Nez all together. I'm running uh, four of the uh, three drop Frieza. I'm running only one cooler. I only have one cooler. I would swap it out for the next two cards. Um, he's a blocker, and when attacking, when blocking, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Then if it's actually a cost two or less, you can KO it. Pretty neat. Now, the two coolers I'd swap out for are for these two four drop freezes. I don't think the four drop Frieza at all really works with this Frieza leader. This Frieza actually better works with Cooler, where Cooler can pitch a card and then choose someone with Frieza army in its trait and restand it. He, he can't, typically because the permanent on this card is, um, this card can't be switched to active mode during your charge phase, so you have to use Frieza's in turn to turn it back up. So. I'm only running two here to replace for the two coolers I'm missing. But if I had three coolers, I'd play the three coolers. Then I'm running four of the Golden Frieza. Um, he is a double striker. And then, then I can, when he attacks, I could choose one of my opponent's rested battle cards. And they can't activate, uh, can't come to active mode at the start of their turn. And then finally, we're running four uh, Chile, Chile uh, Super Capos. And that is the Frieza deck. So, without further ado, let's take it to a ranked match and see how well we do. Here we go, folks, our ranked match. Now, I will say something. As you saw there, I'm only silver. I think my pony here is platinum. The ranking system for Bandai is very strange here. It's not like, maybe if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That's actually good for us. Maybe you're familiar with like Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, where you have to go through each rank and you only play people in the same rank as you. That's not how this system works. You kind of don't have that. Yes, you rank up, but you can fight anyone, which I think is actually interesting because it does mean, mean that no matter what cards you have, you can always fight anyone, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of like if you went to your local scene or a tournament and then you decide to play this Frieza deck, you play people who are clearly have Beerus and more Beerus cards than you. So it is in that aspect as well that it kind of makes sense. Their ranking system's more like, go grind as hard and as fast as you can, and as high as you can for the season, and then claim awards based on how well you did at the end of the season. That's kind of what they're doing for their, kind of what they do for their ranking system. I think it's interesting. I don't know how good it is, honestly. I'll have to see once the season ends. And the season probably won't come to an end until, um... Because the season really won't come to an end until, um, set two drops for Fusion World. So this is the season one for the starter decks, the promo pack, and the, um, first booster set for, um, this season. So, it's a strange ranking system if you think you could play someone who's already reached god ranked or platinum or gold or any of the higher ranks while you're still like a silver or a bronze which i think does hurt people who don't put any money in the game because how what are they gonna do they're they're gonna have a harder time at it because if they haven't put money in the game they won't play people who may not have put money in the game either so there is that there is that caveat as we're kind of getting schooled right now by beers um, I kind of need him to hit me, but right now I don't have a lot of myself. Okay, so I do enjoy Beerus. I will not lie to anyone. I do enjoy the Beerus stuff. It is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to actually charge this Giggy, and then I think I'm going to put out Zarbon. And then, yep, we'll grab that. Um... I think I'm going to have to burn the charge I got here from going second here so I could do this. Now, this will awaken Beerus, but it does not It does mean he's not critical, which will be good. But anyways, Beerus players typically want to uh, hit their awakened side, honestly. 
because typically on their unawakened side, they don't draw cards. They get 500 plus power. And they typically don't have, like, an honest way to, like, do much. I mean, yeah, they get critical. That is nice. But typically, you want to be on your unawakened side. Because on your unawakened side, then you can start doing neg 10 to the board. And in the early game, that kind of hurts. Especially when you have two uh, Weiss or Weiss up on the board that can uh, use a skill to neg 5 everything. But typically, that's what you get right now in this game. It's like, you want to be like, almost like every leader wants to self-awaken. Maybe green would be the only one, but they ramp, so they're kind of slower because they're kind of fast on getting energy because they ramp their energy. I don't think they care too much about self-awakening. <laughs> Typically, you want to self-awaken. Okay, I got the goat. Yeah. I'm not surprised. And there goes up on. He hasn't awakened his uh, leader yet. Hmm, interesting. I thought he would have... Oh, no, he is awoken. Uh, I saw the animation. I'm like, wait a minute. Did he awaken his turn? I don't care, because right now, I want him to awaken me. That way, then, next turn, I can have my awakened side active as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, We're going to throw a little Zarba on away. All right, we're going to put out Raccoon. Yeah, because we won't be able to play Little Ginyu this turn because of uh, we're going to be playing out Big Ginyu this turn to stand to power. All right, let's... Uh... Oh, right, I don't have the... Uh... Right, I can't get the extra... Hard because I don't have three or more guys on the board with that. Uh... Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna swing at this and I'm gonna charge a sorbet. I'm gonna see if he can't, if he'll decide to burn some cards out of his hand to try to guard this Goku. No, it's kind of dumb, but it's better than swinging at his leader and giving him his life cards. Again, if, he's, if he really decides to protect this, that me literally means that he's burning three cards. Um, to make this, I guess, a little more palatable, let's burn a 10k on that one. Let's see if he's willing to now guard. Yeah, he has to guard a 10k as well. All right, he's willing to guard all of that. Alright, well, we will attack with Freezer now. And then let's guard just a 10k. Again, I don't want to go over crazy with my guards. I do kind of want cards in my hand for crackbacks. But I don't mind if he decides to desperately guard this uh, Son Goku. So we restand both of those, and basically we get their, um, their combo power on the board. So that's pretty nice for us. Of course, it really matter what is it. All right, so it's gonna give myself one of my things minus 10k. I bet he's gonna play at four drop. Unless he's gonna get rid of the raccoon here. I thought at four drop he was gonna drop the uh, Son Goku, the secret rare Son Goku. The four drop secret rare Son Goku. Um, this shot here. There's not a world I don't take this deck. I may not take this damage, though. I probably won't take the Son Goku shot. Krillin. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards that gets minus 2k. Ew. Crap. He's knocked my hard board out. Well, that's completely useless. Oh, I get it. He was just doing it. He need, he need the attack to knock out my board. Um... Unfortunately, I don't have a 10k in my hands. Both my Zarbons are 5k's. Um, I kind of want the Searcher Zarbon in my hands. So I think we'll just burn. Oh no, I need 15. Right. I should have done a super combo. 
Hmm. Not good. I guess I'll have to burn this. Yeah, I should have just done a super combo, not thinking about it. All right. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to charge. Um, I, guess I have to charge that. I, I need this uh, freeze on my hand. All right, so we do have some three drops that will help us here. Let's see if we can find one. Raccoon? Uh, Raccoon is not bad. I don't think it's going to help right now. The Golden Frieza. Um, we have super combos right now. I think we'll just end from here. I think the Raccoon needs to stay in my hand to charge for uh, Golden Frieza next turn. What sucks is the Weiss just knocks knocks this out, so I, oh, I don't really get to uh, use the advantageous draw next turn. But he's thin on cards, because I did force him to combo to protect this um, Son Goku. Unless he's literally going to go down the five cough beer is now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt he want to go the five cough beer is. Raccoon is going to have to get combo here. I don't think I can take this hit. At five, he gets his double striker. And if he does go for his double striker, I would 100% rather he hit me with the double striker twice and give me two lives. And not mention, I think his double striker is 35k. Son Goku, five drop. Oh, okay. Well, I know he can't bring down. Ah, uh, we'll take this one. Well, I got all four super combos now. Need some better hand drills, that's for sure. I will not be able to take this Krillin, though. I'll have to block. This would have been nice last game. It would have been nice to have like a five, another 5k in my hand if I had done a super combo. All right. Akum gets charged. We're going to have to just play forward control at this point. So we're going to swing on this one. And I think I'm going to tap down that one. No. None there. If you want to save this, be my guest. Because he's got 10k here, and then mattering on what he's got in his hand. He needs 15k, so we need a 5k, 5k, 5k. Alright. That's nice. It does really mean I'm pretty safe for a turn, because I'm going to just knock this out. And then that turn there. If he wants to protect this Krill and be my ghost. Alright. It will really kind of matter what his top deck card is. Because next turn I do have another Golden Frieza I could play. So it literally is going to matter what his next card is that he decides to go with. Match hasn't been perfect for us, but I mean, we're, we're surviving. It. Now the question is, did, did he get someone with the 25k uh, attack? I think there's not a world where I don't take this shot. Alright, well I got golden freezes for days now. That's what I was afraid of. This on play is a crit. So he discards a card to basically knock me down, knock him out, and then he swings on a crit body. I I 100 respect him to combo all his cards out of his hand. That's it. This is 4k. 
That's it. Let's block him. I was not expecting that. Honestly. We won't be able to charge this turn, that's for sure. Uh, no, nah, we can't. Okay. Skip the charge phase. We'll play down another Golden Frieza. We will have to swing on this one. Freezing that one. Passing that. I don't think I can give him another card in his hand. Just go for the draw. Pass the turn. Mainly, I'm just hacking this to get a draw. I honestly don't want to try to swing at him to try to give him up four cards here when he's going to be going up to like four and then five for his draw. Especially if like one of his secret rares is in his life. So he's back down to three cards. He'll go up to four when he decides to uh, attack. That's kind of annoying. Question is, does he decide to go for a charge? What's left in his hand? Um. Yeah, I have to go to super. Three cards left in his hand. What could he play? Does he have another Sun Goku? A three drop Sun Goku? If he does, that's really gonna hurt me. If he has anything that is like 20k or higher. Okay. Well, this doesn't kill me. Because lucky enough, I have both of these to survive. Oh, wait, no, it will kill me. Nah, he's actually gonna get it. I don't know why he didn't just. Yeah, no, he's gonna get it. I don't have a 10k. If he combos the Weiss. Wow, he did not combo the Weiss. I 100% thought he was going to combo that Weiss away. I really thought he was going to combo that Weiss away. 100%. He was going to lie me, let me have no cards, period. He was going to combo that Weiss and he could win. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't combo the Weiss. Either of these combos forces all my cards out of my hand, and then my Golden Frieza has zero combo power. Personally, I would have comboed the Weiss. It's not doing anything right here. What, you can neck me by 15? That doesn't win you the game. I can't play that because I'll take the life. I guess I'm going to have to charge it. Okay. Um. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Um, it's going to be called knocking out one of these guys. End phasing. Yeah, I got one. Not really doing much. Um, then we play a second Golden Frieza. We go one Golden Frieza at him. We seal that down. We don't charge. We force him to either spill this card or spill these two. So he had a super combo in his hand the entire time. Oh. Now the big question, do we just decide to attack the Weiss and leave the Beerus alone? And force him to have some form or another of another card to out me? I think that's the play. I think the play here is that we rest the Weiss, we swing with this Frieza, we tap down this Beerus, we end the step. Oh shoot, I just forgot. This is it. I shoot, I totally picked the wrong character to, to kill with the Frieza. I needed to actually kill the Shin with the Frieza. I actually need to remove the Shen with the Frieza. Shoot, that's not good. Because I don't have I don't have enough power to stop him on his crackback because he's buffing himself by 3k now. Not that it overly matters. Yep, 
He just knocks that out all together. I don't get the combo power. And he knows I don't have a combo power, so I'll give it to him. He gets the win. It makes sense I get murdered by the God of Destruction, or by Universe 7. I might have been able to survive a early if I'd done a few other things. But that is a defeat there, Frieza versus Beerus. Oh well. Get some points there for still at least playing the game. But I want you to let me know your thoughts down in the comment on the gameplay. What meter should we check out next? Sun Gohan, Trunks Future, Android 17. Um, either the Sun Gokus, Vegeta, Broly, Cooler, Ginyu. Let me know which one you'd like to see next. Or which one you'd like to see, period. More gameplay of... Which one should I play more of? Beerus, Son Goku's, Vegeta. Let me know all of that down in the comments. And while you comment, do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you can notify when my videos go live for you. And we'll see you here next time on Mama Dragons TCG.